Have I mentioned how hard it is just to get from like my computer to my floor to film this right now? I'm trying this angle out, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's highly complicated. This has been happening way longer than you might think. Hey guys, Danny here, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I've been hearing the word industry plant being thrown around a lot lately. Between Janelle Eliana's infamous crazy super fast rise to 2 million subscribers, or the whole spill AWED Corp controversy, <laughs> and in all of these videos, the one justification that has been thrown around a lot has been that the music industry has been doing this for basically forever. And my reaction to that was like, hold up, well, what do you mean they've had industry plants for basically forever? So I decided to investigate. So let's get straight exactly what people mean by industry plant. So based off of Google research and all the videos that I've watched, essentially it is someone who was created by a corporation as kind of a persona and is completely backed by a corporation. So in the music industry, we actually call this artist development. So just in case people are getting confused, what people are talking about in terms of like YouTube and saying industry plant is actually what the music industry calls artist development. It is actually something that is super common in the music industry because a lot of the times record labels or companies will find these talented young people and they will sign them and kind of shape and mold their career and give them training in their artistry in social media, in media training in general and then they will allow them to release new music and stuff like that. Remember all of those Disney Channel stars back in the day who had a TV show and then also released music? Think of those people. That's what people are talking about when they're saying industry plant. So the typical story that we tend to hear about musicians and artists and how they blew up is that they were either a in modern times making videos in their bedroom like me and were discovered by some record label or some a and r exec and that's how they ended up being signed back in kind of the olden days with traditional media what would happen is these smaller artists would go and perform places and get out their demos to a bunch of different um, studios, record labels, all of that jazz. And someone would, again, discover them for all of their raw, untapped potential and then sign them, a la Taylor Swift type of story and or Shawn Mendes type of story in either or of those situations. Those two stories end up differing greatly to someone like Miley Cyrus, who technically by the definition that we are working with is an industry plant. She has been very vocal about how she didn't have the greatest time when she was doing Hannah Montana. She ended up having a lot of, you know, body issues, self-esteem issues, and all of that. It is also very evident by the, let's call it, experimental paths that she went on once she was released from her Disney contract, aka bangers and then younger now, how they're like two different ends of the spectrum, that a lot of what we had perceived to be who she is, what her image was, was very much controlled by Disney. So exactly what do these companies get out of having these industry plants? Like, what is the point of doing it? What do they get out of it? The long and short of it is basically money, which is pretty much everything, holy, 
which is pretty much everything that is run in our life is run because of money. So let's take Miley Cyrus again as the example. What was basically happening is us little, I don't know how old was when Hannah Montana came out, seven, eight, I don't know, but us little kids were watching Hannah Montana on Disney Channel and we loved it. Then we would go to Rip HMV from back in the day to HMV, we would buy the Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus dual album situation, right? So now we're even more of a fan. So then when they made her tour all over the place, we all begged our parents to go see the tour. And then after that, we all went to Walmart, Target, wherever, and bought all of the posters, magazines, bed sheets. Think JoJo C1 now was basically Miley back then. And what happens with that for Disney is because they have Miley under her contract and she's a quote unquote industry plant, she isn't getting the revenue from all of those different streams. Disney is, and they're just basically paying her a salary. So instead of just having a super successful TV show, they have super successful TV show and CD sales and concerts and merchandise that they all get to collect that revenue from. So are industry plants a bad thing? Does everyone need to be enraged? Should we be boycotting this? What is going on? Industry plants aren't actually a bad thing. The most realistic way to look at it is high level marketing. Again, in the music industry, it is called artist development. So it is realistically companies investing money to gain the most profits out of their investments at the end of the day. I am pretty sure I have said this a million times on this channel. Music is a business. The only difference between an artist and I don't know, American Eagle is that the product for the artist is the artist. So it's almost like these companies are investing money from the get-go to perfectly craft these artists so that they are the most like market friendly and are playing on all of the trends from the get-go so that they can recoup as much money as possible. As well as the fact that, again, with the Miley example, Disney owns all of that. So they technically own Hannah Montana, they own all of that merchandise, they own the CDs, all of that. So as much as Miley herself might be out of that contract and moved on to bigger and better things, as she gets bigger and bigger, the more we're gonna be like, hey, remember that Hannah Montana song? And go back and listen to it and they still can make more money. They can play Hannah Montana, still on the Disney Channel, I'm pretty sure it's coming to like Disney Plus and stuff. And then everyone with their nostalgia is going to keep paying for it. And they could even technically get a new person and make them the new Hannah Montana and somehow make money off of that. So that is where these companies get their benefit is because it's like owning a person, but it's more so owning the persona of that person. And then the revenue stream is way more consistent that way. The only thing that can be slightly a negative to these industry plant type things is if people are not aware that this is happening. So again, using Miley as an example, if during her Hannah Montana days, if she were to go on a, I don't know, radio show interview or something, and she really went on about how much she loves Target, that could potentially have been like a brand deal between Target and Disney. So as consumers, we need to be aware that these things do exist because we kind of need to check our sources when we are, you know, basing our purchasing information and purchasing decisions off of some celebrity because we feel like we know her, even though pretty much all the talking points, everything she's saying, her own entire persona would have been controlled by Disney at that point. Lastly, let's talk about how these industry plants in the music industry affect 
musicians specifically themselves. Well, first off, again, it is good to know as a musician that these things exist because as much as we don't like to admit it, self-esteem does play a big part in the music industry. So if you see some random musician who you may or may not think is more or less talented than you and they just kind of shoot up and skyrocket to the top of the charts and now you feel bad that you're not doing everything right or you know you might not be as talented as you thought it's good to know that these things exist because then you can realize that maybe that person had an entire company marketing team everything type of team already built in for them and that is how they got to be so successful so fast while you are starting your, you're going through your own path you're doing it yourself you're basically a diy musician so it is good to know that these things exist so that you don't specifically compare yourself to everyone else and hurt yourself in that way or give up on your dreams because of it secondly it can help inform your own brand little nas x is a great example of this he figured out how to use the whole meme system to get his song to the number one spot for I'm pretty sure it was 15 to 16 some ridiculous number of weeks because he did all of the work beforehand and he knew how to do that based on all of his research of what the trends were and what the brands are and the best way to see that is to find the industry plants and see what they're doing or what their teams are doing it's basically a shortcut to preserve energy and put it where it targetedly needs to be instead of just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing if it sticks. Lastly, as musicians, it is good to know that industry plants exist because jeez. It is good to know that industry plants exist because it's a great reminder that we all need to stick together and not treat the music industry as a competition. Because if we are all against each other, the only person who's going to win is going to be the companies and the corporations and the industry plants that have all the money to begin with. So instead, we should be treating the music industry as a community and not trying to compete each other. There is this saying that is, I think, a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's very true for the music industry if we treat it as a community and not a competition. If I can better myself as an example and share my knowledge with you as I do on this YouTube channel, then you now have more knowledge instead of me being like, well, I have this knowledge and I'm not going to share it with anyone because I want to make myself better. It doesn't help. We are stronger as a community than fighting against each other and the reason that these companies like the music industry treated like a competition is because they win in that scenario. So what do you guys think about this whole industry plant situation? Who do you think might be an industry plant? Which artists? Don't give me the Disney Channel ones. Give me like, I don't know, anyone else. And why do you think they are? Tell me all this in the comment section down below. I make weekly music related content. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you guys next week. Bye. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure.